Hi everyone, this is Leonie from My Passion for Paper. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas time. Um, I want to welcome my new subscribers. I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the number of new subscribers. Uh, I haven't had the time to visit you all yet uh, during the holiday season, but I will in the next couple of days. Um, I had some requests on how I make my box pleated trim, so um, I will try to explain you now uh, how I made that. Here's an example of my box pleated trim. You can make it as long as you like. And here's another one. Um, we're going to need uh, satin ribbon, of course, uh, some double sided tape, a pair of scissors and a lighter. And if you want you can use a ruler. The This piece is about half an inch wide. So when we're going to fold, we're going to fold the ribbon a quarter of an inch. I pretty much eyeball it, but if you like you can use a ruler. So let's get started. You can leave the ribbon on the roll. Uh, sometimes I make it uh, 6 inches uh, for a mini album or if you want to use it for a layout you can uh, make it 12 inches. But you can leave it here and cut it off when you're finished and you uh, have enough length of the trim. First I'm going to melt the edge a little bit. Like this. Then I'm going to cut two little pieces of my double sided tape. I cut little squares uh, a quarter of an inch, about a quarter of an inch. Then I take my ribbon like this and we start at the back side of the ribbon and we're going to place the double sided tape in the corner like this and then we're going to fold the ribbon towards ourselves for about a quarter of an inch and then press it down and then it should look like this. And then I'm going to place the other piece of double sided tape right next to this piece. And then I'm going to take my ribbon, fold it like this or about a quarter of an inch and then you have something that looks like this this is the front and this is the back then I'm going to cut two little pieces again I'm going to take my ribbon, this is the front, the back. I'm going to place my double sided tape here in the back. And 
and then I'm going to fold the ribbon this way press it down and there we have the first pleat then I'm going to put my piece of tape right next to this one, like this and I'm going to oh, <laughs> it's a little bit sticky I'm going to fold it like this a quarter of an inch like this you can also use uh, hot glue and put the hot glue where I place the double sided tape um, I prefer double sided tape because it gives me a little bit more time to determine how I want the pleats to be and I'm going to glue it down when I'm finished anyway so it will stay in place okay we're going to take our double sided tape again put it right here in the corner and then fold it back like this press it down then we're going to turn it over here we have the back side place the double, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> double sided tape like this and then fold it inwards like this take two pieces of double sided tape again take the ribbon and we're going to place the double sided tape in the corner again like this <coughs> I'm sorry still having a little bit of a cold here <laughs> and then fold it over like this press it down piece of double sided tape again fold it this way and you can go on like this and make it however long you want what you need Here we have the back side. Going to put a piece of double sided tape in the corner again, like this, and then fold it like this. I'm going to make this a short piece so you can see uh, how to end the trim here I have another piece double sided tape and then I'm going to fold it again like 
like this. And when you think it's long enough and you did your last pleat inwards, you can just trim it off like this. Take your lighter to melt the edges a little bit. And then there you have it, the box pleated trim. This is a very short piece. But you can make it as long as you want and you can leave it on here and make as much as you need. I know it's a uh, time consuming to do this but uh, it's very hard for us here in uh, in Holland to buy the box pleated trims and if you can buy them they're very expensive and I was uh, very inspired by Sa Crafters she makes uh, her own trims she makes a lot of uh, beautiful stuff like flowers and all kinds of embellishments but I was inspired by her uh, to figure out how to make my own box pleated trim so um, I hope you like it. I hope uh, you understand uh, my explanation on the box pleated trim and if you uh, have any questions please feel uh, free to, uh, to ask me and I will get back uh, to you as soon as possible. Um, I wish you all a wonderful day and of course uh, I wish you all the best for 2012 and I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's Eve. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.